Hello everyone, welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're not. I know I haven't been posting in like a while and I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna start trying to post more often and more content. So this is just me like trying to start over again basically because it's kind of hard to bounce back after you've been gone for a while but I'm hoping that I can get more subscribers and you know stuff like that so today I am going to be drawing just you know just a random drawing and answering some questions that you guys have asked and you know hopefully you know just <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, let's get started. I apologize in advance if you hear any background noise. That's my dog. <laughs> so, sorry if he makes any noise in the background. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, so, I mean, I'm not going to tell what I'm drawing. Obviously, you'll be, you'll know what it is when it starts coming together but i'm just gonna like just start drawing it and answering questions and then y'all will be able to figure out so the first question is from reading time 447 and they asked me what is my favorite comedy so as far as like favorite comedy show i don't know give me a second to think about it <laughs> i mean i really like Family Matters and the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Those are just like classic comedy shows, and those are those are so good. And I would have to say that those are probably in the top for me as far as comedies are concerned. I just I love those. Yeah. So the next question is from Mary's Sketchbook, and she asked me, "Who is my favorite singer?" Well. I love all music, like I'm just a big music fan overall, but my favorite band it would be Stray Kids. They're they're just so so good. I'm also a big BTS fan, just K-pop in general. I'm a big K-pop fan. And basically anything K-pop I love, but Stray Kids would have to be my favorite and BTS right under that. So everyone in Stray Kids, they're just really really good and they would have to be my favorite okay so the next question is from ellie and she said if i had any superpower what would it be it would probably actually definitely be able to move things with my mind that would just be so awesome like you're sitting on the couch and you need the remote with the remotes all the way on the other side of the room and then you can just you can just move it with your mind and get it over there and you can be lazy and not have to get up and do it so that would probably be what i would like that would be the superpower of my choice what's going on Doctor. i'm done cut the show i'm done take me off Take me off. I just went back over the footage and I seen that the last few seconds of me talking and drawing I wasn't paying attention to the camera and it went out of focus so the stupid camera didn't focus on that last part and I'm really sorry but we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep a better eye on it and hopefully it won't do that again. I know this looks like really creepy right now but I promise like I have a vision for it like I know what I'm doing you just you don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, the next question is another one from Mary's sketchbook. She asked me what my favorite song is. Again, with that being in the category of my favorite band. Um, anything by them, basically, I have a lot of them. But anything in the No Easy album of theirs, I, I just, I love, I love that album. It's really just one of my one of my all-time favorites, and, you know, you should really go check that out if you're interested because you won't be disappointed. Like, it's so, so, so good. I feel like you can probably see where this is going by now, and again, it still looks a little bit creepy, but I promise it will come together and hopefully look nice. 
So yeah. The next question is another one from Reading Time. They asked me what my favorite meme is. That would... Okay, I love a lot of memes, and, like, my entire camera roll is of memes. Like, I have I have literally thousands of them, and I refuse to part with any of them. And I'm always getting notifications about my storage being low, but, like, I refuse to part with any of them. But my favorite, or at least one of my favorites, would probably have to be the Thanks a Lot, Rachel meme video. So we're, like, we're... <laughs> Where her sister had, like, used her charger and broken it. And then she's like, thanks a lot, Rachel. That's, that's one of my favorites. Thanks a lot, Rachel. Thanks a lot. Thanks to you, my charger's not charging on my iPad. Because it's got used to your iPad instead of mine. Okay, the next two are from Jaden. Um, Blue Jaden. She's another art channel and she's so, so good. You should most definitely go check her out like she's amazing way better than me and she's so sweet and you should definitely check her out but anyways her questions are my favorite color and what type of audience do I like for my channel so my first first question being what is my favorite color I love black it's just <laughs> I mean it's not like a gothic choice or anything it's just like I feel like black is so poetic of course, it matches with, with everything. And I just, I love black in general. Like, I mean, have you ever heard the saying, if you think of a poet, I mean, you wouldn't think of them in a bright yellow jacket. They would, they would wear something black because black, black is poetic. And I just, I really love that. And I just, you know, I feel like black goes with everything. And it's just such a pretty, deep, dark color. And it's just, it's, it's always been my favorite. Okay, and the next question being, what type of audience do I like for my channel? You know, I mean, I don't have, like, a specific audience that's, like, a most definite that I'm really going for. Just, it's my channels for anyone who enjoys my videos. That's what the goal is. It's just, they're for entertainment, and hopefully you might learn something. And, you know, I'm learning with this channel, too. It's helping me grow. I have most definitely grown a lot since I started the channel. And I have gotten a lot better with my art. I can tell already. So, you know, really just anyone who who finds my content entertaining. Or, you know, something like that. Just, you know. Okay, so next question is... What is the dumbest thing I have ever done to help out a friend? Well, I have done quite a lot of dumb things, and I would probably have to sit for a while, but the first one that comes to mind is when I was in the sixth grade, this was a long time ago, and I haven't thought about this in a really long time, but I kind of cringe thinking about it right now. My friend, she had a huge crush on this boy at the time, and... She was one of those friends that, like, would do anything to be funny. Like, would probably embarrass you to do something funny. So, I should have seen this one coming. But I didn't. And I was trying to help her out. Well, she... I sat right next to the boy that she had a crush on at the time. And she asked me to pass him a note. And with me trying to be a good friend, I wanted to help her. And, you know, I didn't want to read the note because it was her note. And I didn't want to, like, invade her privacy. And, I mean, I knew that I should read it first, you know, to make sure that it wasn't, you know, anything that might embarrass me. But I was trying to be a good friend. <sighs> Pencil. Why are you doing that? Okay. Back on topic. Okay, where were we? Oh, yeah. So, my friend, she wanted me to pass this note. And I didn't want to, like, you know, go over any boundaries. And I was trying to be a good friend. And I didn't want to read the note. Well, I passed it over. And he opened it and started reading it. And immediately, I could tell by his reaction... Yeah. <sighs>
you know what? I'm switching pencils. This one, that one can go. <laughs> oh! Anyways, I could tell by his reaction that the note had not said what she had said it had said. And I still to this day never got to look at the note, but I know that it had something to do with me just based on the boy's reaction. And I was so embarrassed that I never, ever talked to him again. Like, you know, and I forgave my friend and I went and of course I was, I was upset at her, but I forgave her. And I never did anything stupid like that again. So like, if anyone ever asked me to do that again, I would at least read it first. Like, you know, there's, there's a point where, I mean, you're trying to be a good friend and you don't want to invade your friend's privacy, but you know, sometimes, sometimes your friends do things to you to be embarrassing. And I, you know, I should have known that at the time, like me and this girl, we're not friends anymore. And it, I should have, I kind of should have seen that one coming, but I didn't, but anyways, it's okay. And it's just, it's, it's kind of funny to think about now. And I, I haven't thought about it in a long time, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Okay. Next question is, what is my favorite quote? Well, I mean, I have quite a few. And, you know, there are a lot I like to live by. But I'll give, like, my top two or three. So the first one is, broken is not the same as unfixable. And that's really, like, a touching quote because it's so true. I mean, a lot of times, even, I mean, with ourselves and with objects, we think, oh, this is, this is, this is broken and you you know we just throw it away without thinking but the way i like to think is you know even if it's broken it can be fixed and sometimes it can turn out better than it originally had been and my second quote would probably have to be bob ross um there's no such thing as mistakes only happy accidents i feel like i feel like that's just such an amazing amazing quote and i i live by that because you know we make we make a lot of mistakes in life but i mean if you live by the attitude of their happy accidents then you know that just makes life a whole lot better if you look at it from a better perspective and my final quote and the most most important one so everyone listen up <laughs> is if you wouldn't say it to your best friend don't say it to yourself and that's one I feel like we all need to live by because, you know, we say a lot of things to ourselves without even realizing we're so mean to ourselves. We are, we're quick to judge ourselves and cut ourselves down and we're just, we're not kind to ourselves. So if you think about it, if you wouldn't say it to your best friend, I mean, don't say it to yourself, you know, you got to You have to think about that every time you go to say something negative about yourself or think something negative, remember that. Remember that quote. And it's helped me a lot in life. When I catch myself being negative about myself, I'll think that. And I'm like, wow, I really, this, you know, this is just a, it's a good thing to think. And it really helps me stop and realize that I'm being way too hard on myself in situations. Okay, next question. What is the most terrible movie that I legitimately enjoy? As far as terrible, just like <laughs> cheaply made. And, and you know, just <laughs> a movie that isn't like the best quality, but it's still something I enjoy. Well, I really like the movie Minor Details. You've probably never heard of it in your entire life. But it's just like this fun little teenage movie and it's... You know, I've liked it since I was a little kid. And, you know, there's no real, I guess, reason that I like it. Because it's, it's quite a terrible movie. But, you know, I've always enjoyed that movie. And I would sit down and watch it again. Just, I've watched that movie so many times. I can't even count anymore. But I actually do enjoy that movie. Back to the meme question. Um, I had forgotten there's one other meme that... <laughs> It really just makes me laugh. It's the, uh, I could have dropped my croissant <laughs> meme. And it, it just makes me bust out laughing. Like, that. that's a super funny one. Stop! Stop! 
I could have dropped my croissant. <laughs> okay, I went ahead and added like some line art and that's just about finishes it up. But I'm going to go ahead and just add some highlights and answer the last question. So the last question is if I could give any advice to my younger self, what would it be? Well, I mean, I think that it would have to be just just keep going. I mean, don't give up, especially with art <laughs> and, you know, with everything, you know. I would definitely tell myself to be nicer to me and just everything's okay. Just keep going and, you know, you're going to get there. And that's just, that's what I would tell myself. I would, and I'd give myself a big hug and tell her that she's got this. Well, I think that just about finishes it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe. And I will try to be posting more content very soon. So, thank you.